YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Wild Dre. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Overwatch 2. Okay. So this isn't a live commentary, as you can tell. It's a quick story time. It's a quick story time because what happened to me, I need y'all to let me know if I'm in the wrong here. I need y'all to let me know if I'm in the wrong. So I'm playing competitive, as I always do. You know, the, the, pretty much one of the only things you can do in this game, even though it's arguably becoming one of the worst game modes for the matchmaking like and the that I'm not gonna go around. It's a story mode. This is a story time, okay? So I'm playing my game and I run into the same guy three times in a row, right? Support guy. This is that's huge, huge point of interest right there. This person is a support character, right? Beats me twice. One of the times I had uh, DPS throwing. He was a Torb, so I'm like, okay, whatever, That's it's it's over with. The match is done. Second time, similar people on the, same, on the similar teams, and we end up losing again. Now you're probably wondering, well, it's just, it's just a team different. Maybe you're not playing good. You're not playing good. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's probably true. You know, I wasn't probably playing my best or whatever the reason may be why we lost, but we did, right? I look at the stats and you know it's the support difference isn't too too big it seems like you know maybe there's small mechanics that could have, could have been better but on my part but you know it is what it is but we get into this third game right I match up with them again and the thing is they start popping off like it's overwhelmingly too dominant of why they're popping off at support. Mind you, this is support. Okay, keep in mind, I said that earlier. It's it's a support person I'm running into, right? This person is frontlining as support. Now, keep in mind, normally the supports aren't necessarily frontlining unless it's maybe Brig and Lucio trying to really stay with the tank. You know, other people aren't necessarily in the front lines like that. Unless it's like one of them. To, even even Brig is sometimes not always in the front line because you know she can throw packs to her tank and stuff like that. But I notice them in the front lines a lot more than it should be. I'm like, okay, well they're punishable because most of the time if the support is that close to the front lines, they're easily punishable, right? Free pick, and then you usually win the fight if one of the supports gone, or if the tank's gone, or something like that. Usually win the fight, right? But we start getting absolutely rolled, and I'm like, "Yo, team! Yo, can we kill? Can we kill the support who's overextending, or what are we doing here?" I start switching characters. Maybe it's me. Maybe I need to support them with mercy. Maybe I need to play Zen for the extra damage. Maybe I need to, you know, play more for for more mobility and whatever. So I'm trying different things. I look at the scoreboard. By the second point, this person has 28 kills. I'm like, excuse me? Ex I'm sorry, come again? You have 28 kills by the second point? Hello? That doesn't make any sense as a support. Now, mind you, it'll be a little bit more interesting if their DPS had like 20 something, you know, kills as well. Their support had 12. One, th not not the support, the, the DPS had 12 picks and the other one had 11. So you're telling me how is oh, that keep in mind it's a Baptiste player at this specific specific time. How is this person have 28 kills as a support as Baptiste and their DPS only have 11 and 12? He's doubled their picks. They are healing. They are healing because they, they did have a decent amount of heals. But it's kind of like how how does that make sense? What are we what are we doing wrong? You know I'm trying to heal my team. My DPS are doing what they they could, which wasn't enough clearly, but. I'm thinking to myself, yo, something, something's got to change here, right? So again, you know, I try going maybe Anna to sleep him and then we can get a quick pick. Maybe I go Baptiste myself. I didn't actually go Baptiste, but I'm trying to think what would work in, in this scenario, right? Pretty much nothing works. I'll keep it a buck with you. Keep, pretty much nothing works. We go into, now it's our turn to try and attack these guys, right? We go to try to attack these guys, and it, 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 we don't even get out of our spawn, pretty much. However, this time, this person's on Anna this time. Instead of Baptiste, they're on Anna. 
So I'm thinking to myself, well, you just rolled us on, on Baptiste. Why would you switch to Anna? It makes no sense. And then I say to myself, you know what? If it's if they're switching from Baptiste to Anna, and by the end of the game they had 32 friggin' Elums, I'm like, there's only one thing they have to be cheating, right? There's no this doesn't make any sense how the support has more kills than everybody in the game, while at the same time maintaining a high amount of kills. Like that's I know you don't have to be a heal bot, but that that's kind of insane to me, you know. So. You know, I ended up reporting them. I did. I did. The yeah, I know, but it, 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 it's just, it's too suspect. It's too suspect that how a support can have that much more kills than everyone in the lobby. It doesn't makes it makes no sense. I think my, I think my tank had like 20, my DPS had like 18, and he finished with like 32. Like, come on, that's a that's a little that's a little suspect for me. So I reported them. Here's the catch, though. Here's the catch. It turns out that person was on my friends list. So after, after I reported them, right? So you know, like I pressed start, went to, went to you know the group, reported them, right? I find out they're on my friends list. How? Because when I opened up them, when I opened up the after the game after I left. I opened up the the tab to try to find this person again and it automatically is on friends, right? And when I found it automatically on friends, I found that same person's name there and it turns out they were on my friends list. Keep in mind, keep in mind, you know, when you have a lot of people on your friends list, especially when you don't play with a lot of people, you just kind of like have them, you kind of forget that they're on your friends list or what their name is. So it turns out... I reported my friend for snapping, but it's the thing. It, this doesn't make it. I need y'all in the comments to let me know if I did this, if this is a bad thing I did, if it's if it's a simple mistake, which I think it's a simple mistake, but at the same time it was a little suspect at the same time because that's too much of a pop off. That's like too much of a pop off in my opinion. But they turned out to be my friends list on my friends list, and I ended up reporting them for cheating because that was just too suspect. Um. Do I honestly feel like I, I feel kind of bad because it's the person who's on my friends list, but it's not like it's not like I played with them like every other day or like once a week on Fridays or even if I even got an invite recently from them. Like I didn't I don't remember them being on my friends list, but apparently they were. So I feel kind of bad when I found out, but at the end of the day, like I don't feel that bad at the same time because I honestly feel like they were cheating. And you're probably wondering, oh, well, where's the clips? Where's the clips? I was just, I wasn't recording anything. I was just playing on my PlayStation. It was just legitimately a casual game because I wanted to edit a video and play a game before you know I head out to do my to go work out today. So there is no clips, unfortunately, but that's my story time. Let me know if this is something that's happened to you. Has you know a friend of yours joined into your game? They just popped off and you accuse them of cheating or something like that, or um, how often you guys run into cheaters because I feel like I run into cheaters like all the time or I run into in, like some insane smurfs all the time like my matchmaking has just been terrible as of late I run into the same people and then if I avoid people for like six days the first two matches I get in they're on my team I'm just like that doesn't make any sense and that's not really fair if I avoid somebody for like three days six days or whatever and the first few games on they're on my team like come on man there's got to be better matchmaking than that and it's not like i'm in top 500 and and um you know i'm at zero zero one percent of players or anything like that i'm like i'm in masters right now so i shouldn't be running into the same people so frequently especially if i avoided them avoided and reported them because i run into so many people throwing and if you haven't noticed in this match too there's one guy that left on their team i don't remember his name but he left, came back, he's like, started talking that smack and saying he's gonna try. It was actually this widow that's trying to snipe me right there. Talking about, oh, I'm gonna start trying now, his team sucks, blah, 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 blah. And everything like that. Typical, you know, masters, toxicity, and stuff like that. We all do it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it was a very interesting, very interesting, and, you know, we all get dog walks sometime in matches. I actually, after this game, actually, I played another one. A push map and they didn't get a single meter like we just immediately since the match started pick 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 and we just dog walked them the rest of the way they didn't even get a 
to it happens to the best of us. You know, sometimes you get walked, sometimes you do the walking, but you know, it is what it is. But I, I really need y'all to let me know how many cheaters you run into. I watch a lot of flats in J in J3. It seems like every day people are running into cheaters like constantly. Or they're or they I guarantee everyone's running into Smurfs. Smurfs is, has taken over this game and in my opinion ruined the game. But it, nothing I can do about that. I don't think nothing Blizzard can do about that either. So. Uh. It, that's that's not the big issue, but running into cheaters often is kind of crazy in this game, and I don't understand how that happens so often. But anyway, it's been your boy Wilds, right? Um, enjoy the rest of the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button for more videos. And again, comment down below what, what's your situation with my story and if you guys run into cheaters. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.